Tonight, lawyers and family members of Andrew Brown are demanding full transparency for Pasquotank County after being allowed to view 20 seconds of body camera video that show Brown's final moments. Pasquotank uh, County deputy shot and killed Brown while serving a warrant on Wednesday morning. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is monitoring all the developments from Elizabeth City. Brought a lot of emotion from the family and their lawyers after viewing the video. They say they expected and feel they deserve to see a lot more than the 20 seconds the county showed them. But what they saw in those 20 seconds was enough to convince them that Andrew Brown was executed. The family of Andrew Brown was initially told they'd be able to view the body cam video of his death at 11:30 this morning. That was delayed because the county wanted the opportunity to redact the video, saying the law allows blurring of faces when necessary to protect an active investigation. When they did see it. Lawyers said they were allowed to view 20 seconds from one deputy's body camera, even though they believe multiple body cameras and a dash camera also captured what happened. Here's how one of the family's lawyers describes what she saw. He had his hands firmly on the steering wheel. They run up to his vehicle shooting. He still stood there, sat there in his vehicle with his hands on the steering wheel while being shot at. He backs out, goes around them, and they're still shooting at him while he's driving off. He drives off, the car runs into a tree, and they are still running behind him. A judge must determine whether to make the video public. It is not clear exactly when that decision will happen. Pasquotank County and Elizabeth City have both declared states of emergency. Yeah. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.